Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new OPOP -OP League Week today, guys. It's week number three. And uh, currently we are, we've won our first two set of games against Sableyes and Cilios Network. Today, guys, we're going to be paired up against Plus Power. Now, Plus Power is not an English channel. He is a, I'm pretty sure it's either a Brazilian or a Spanish channel. It's one of the two. I apologize if I get that wrong, um, but... He's not an English channel. He has 20,000 subs. As always, guys, I'll leave his channel down below. He does make a lot of interesting content. Um, I've checked his channel out a few times before already, and uh, he definitely is a, he's a good player for sure. He's a good YouTuber, and he also tends to upload competitive and rogue decks sometimes too. So uh, definitely give that a look down below if you want to check out his channel. So the decks that I've chosen to play today are going to be very much the same decks that I chose last week, except I have mixed things up a bit. So I'm going to play Mad Party. Now, I don't know if I'm going to lead with this, um, ideally, though, Mad Party is just one of the three decks I've chosen. The other deck that I have chosen is going to be Scent of Scorch VMAX. I think Scent of Scorch VMAX is still a really good deck right now. I know Luke Metal is, like, one of those popular decks in the format. So, like, I'm full-on expecting, like, Luke Metal to just be, like, a really good call. Um, so, I'm assuming it's going to be popular. So, I'm going to whip out Scent of Scorch here, and we'll see. I might open with Scent of Scorch, depending on how things go. And then the other deck that I've chosen, guys, is going to be the Bird Trio Victini deck. This is the same deck from the Hexer Tournament. Um, the exact same list, too. And we're going to be playing this deck. I want to get to know this deck more. Um, I'm not, don't know if I'll ever do a video on this deck. If you guys ever want to see that, I guess leave a like um, down below and comment. But uh, for the most part, I am going to be playing this deck. I'm not sure if I want to open with this or if I want to use it if I win or lose my first match. So we'll see. I'm tempted to open up with Sun of Scorch, and then I might go Bird Trio and then see how that goes. If I win with Sun of Scorch, lose with Bird Trio, I might swap back over maybe to Mad Party. We'll see how things go. But I do want to play the Bertio deck today. This deck is pretty strong, and it takes a lot of brain power to use. Like, it's a bit of a big brain deck because of all, like, the, in, you know, the kind of stuff in here. But this is a deck that I do want to play in today's OPOP League match. So let's see if we can take home another victory here, and let's get straight into the matches. Okay, here we go, guys. Jumping into game number one against Plus Power. And again, I have chosen Centiscorch VMAX first. I'm going to open up with Sunny, and then I'm going to go with, um, and then I'm going to go with, Bird Trio after Senna Scorch, depending if I lose or win. So we do win the coin flip here. I'm gonna let him go first. Of course, we're playing Senna Scorch. Now, I I was too lazy to move my webcam around to fit in the border there uh, for the custom Omni Poke thing. So uh, just don't mind that. I'm just too, I'm a lazy person. I'm just too lazy to readjust my webcam size and then have to re readjust it. I just don't really feel like doing that. So it's gonna leave it how it is. But yeah, it looks cool. It looks cool. All right, we'll see what um, Plus Power started with here. We're going to open with Senna Scorch and then go Bird Trio. So, we'll see. Quick ball. All right, it looks like he is playing ADP. So, he he's playing ADP, Eternatus, and Senti. So, those are the three decks he chose. And he chose Sen ADP first. Now, Senna Scorch can beat ADP. You just got to build up a big Senna Scorch here. Now, luckily, your opening hand is actually pretty good, too. Uh, we might have the bench to Dene. That's fine, though. But we do have a pretty solid starting hand, I would say. There's a dead eight change. He does lose a water energy. That's a pretty good discard to see happen. Now, I wouldn't mind even just winning one of these uh, one of these games that we play. Like if we can go, if I can do one to two, I'm fine because we've already won two of our matches. Like we've already won two conquests, right? So I already have a good enough point. So I don't mind losing this series if it comes down to it. Um, okay, he does actually find a water. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, so we're gonna calm the cram. Gonna get a Senti. We'll play this. We'll quick ball for... I mean... Probably just get another Volcanian. I don't really want to get another... Uh, or actually, maybe just get another Senna Scorch. Hmm. Well, he can't knock out this. I think we'll just get a Volcanian. Yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong going double Volk. We are gonna have to Dead A change here. That's fine. I hope I'm going to get a welder and stuff like that. No welder. Okay, then. That's fine. We can do this. We can crowbat next turn. Do I really want to quick ball for a crowbat here? I just don't want to give my opponent too many outs for knockouts here. You know what I mean? I think I just go do big charm. I'll hold the hand. We can... I don't know. I kind of... Maybe we should go welder, honestly. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? Let's try to let's try to get a welder here and go crowbat. You know what? Screw it. I think we actually should try to get a welder here. I think we want to just try to knock out this ADP next turn. Alright, we do get a welder. Nice. We'll get rid of. I want to say Birdkeeper can go. 
Not sure if I even like that bird keeper to be honest, but I do probably just want to load up a senti here. We want to be able to knock out the ADP next turn. So that's why I'm going to do this. We, we'll see if they Marnie me or not. Yeah, I'm going to try to knock out the ADP here. We'll have to go Eldegoss next turn too, but this is fine. We'll put all the energy on the Senna Scorch. And then we can knock out the ADP. That seems good. All right, cool beans. So we want to be able to knock out the ADP right away. And I think this is my best play in doing that. We'll see if they get the AC off here. Big charm. They are down a switch, so maybe they whiff. They have a four card hand. Maybe they don't have the energy. Oh, they're going to boss. The, the Valk, okay, that's fine. Oh, this is huge. They pass. All right, this is good. So we have a few options here. We can knock out the active. We can boss their ADP up and... I don't think, do we have a knockout? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, I gotta do the math. Oh, I hate this. 80, 120, 160, 200. We do have a knockout here. Okay, this is huge. I think either, oh no, they have the big charm on. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, I mean, we could actually go, oh, we could have went, oh, we could have went heat ran and hot burn the ADP. Ooh, I kind of, I kind of misplay. I should have went Heat Ran there. I mean, this is fine though, right? I still don't think we're in a bad spot. I still think just doing G-Max, knocking out this thing is still a good play. Because next turn, we just get a 7th energy. We knock out the ADP. So I'm actually fine with just attacking the active here. Um, I think I want to hold the hand. I think every card, you know, we can go Heat Ran next turn. We can do Victine. I think I just hold the hand, knock out their active. Okay, I'll, I jumped the gun there. But now we can knock them out. Now we're doing a bunch of damage. Okay, that was... No, I wouldn't call that a misplay. I know the Heat Ram play might have been op optimal, but I mean, it's not like Sense Scorch is going anywhere anytime soon, so it's not really that big of a deal. I mean, as long as he doesn't like boss and trap something, I guess, that's the only thing I might be concerned with. I think this is fine, though. We can still like just body this ADP here, I think, which is still pretty good for us. Yeah, all, yeah, see? It's like, we're looking pretty good. There's another Sense Scorch. We can also win with Cram on the Dedenne. Uh, we don't really need another Sense Scorch right now. I don't really want to do anything with this hand, honestly. I think I just hit them with the G-Max and Inferno. Not much else really to do. We could have played an energy down, but it's not like, yeah, it looks like we just have we just have them here. Can't really see much else my opponent can do right now. We could have played around, like, I guess we could have hearth the way like the Victini or something. Um, probably could have done that. We could see a stamp to one here, but I didn't want to play a calm or a quick ball. Because if we do get stamp to one, we'll have that stamp out. Yeah. All right, look at that. We have won a match in the series. This is good. So, hey, so we can't play Center Scorch. We're going to go with Bird Trio now. All right, GG's to plus power here. I'm going to message him on Discord here because he's probably going to say if he wants to go first or second. We'll see what he says. So, yeah, next up, we're going to go with our Bird Trio deck here. Um, we're going to play the Bird Trio here and see if we can win. So, his other two decks he chose were Center Scorch and Eternatus v -Man. So he's going to go first. All right, that's perfect. That's perfect. Okay, because we're playing a Victini deck and we want to go first. We could also go with Mad Party knowing that he's going first because both Bear Trio and Mad Party like to go second. So we have a few options here. So he'll go first. Um, okay, cool. I think we still go Bear Trio, right? We've already done Mad Party and he's going first. So he's probably going to choose Eternatus. Okay, that's fine. I think I still go Bird Trio here. Um, yeah, I think we're going to still go Bird Trio. We're going to try out Bird Trio. See how it goes. He definitely chose Eternatus, right? So we just go Bird Trio. We'll see uh, what happens here. He wins. Okay, so would you like to go first? The first? No, I do not want to go first. My opponent wants to go first. All right, so this is definitely an Eternatus deck. We'll see if we can take down Eternatus here. So we try to bait with Bird Trio, and then we go... We'll see what happens. I might go to Mad Party. There's a chance he chooses Senna Scorch for his next deck if he wins this game, right? He could go back to ADP, though. But if he goes ADP, maybe I'd actually just stick with Bertrio. Because I feel like Bertrio could still beat Senna Scorch and ADP. We'll see how it goes. Oh, he's going with ADP again. Okay. He's going with ADP. It looks like he went with ADP again. Obviously, he's not playing. Well, he could be playing Senna Scorch. I highly doubt it. It's definitely the ADP deck. All right. He's playing ADP again, I see. Okay. Bertrio v ADP. Can we beat it? I think so. I think I think the matchup's fine. Um, maybe, <laughs> maybe. 
he looks like he did get a pretty good start here his hand is pretty big i wouldn't be surprised if he can get like a pretty solid turn one best case for us he whiffs a water attachment or something or like whiffs an energy on to zacian this is this is the moment though where we get to test this deck out Let's see if he gets an energy here All right quick ball probably gonna get a dedene yep okay that's fine there's a primate wisdom See if we can beat this. This is kind of maybe where I should maybe wish this deck played more dolls. I feel like doll would be really good. Oh, he gets rid of a Marnie. He gets rid of another... Okay, those are pretty good discards. The Marnie's good. This deck kind of gets... Not beaten by Marnie, but this deck kind of doesn't like to see Marnie. Okay, there's a Swell. That is kind of bad, especially if we try to get Hearth or Viridian. And there's just a different option. He doesn't get an energy on the ADP, which is what I like to see. Especially because now that he's down two energy switch, that's actually pretty good. Um, we drew the Fire Energy, which is pretty good. So we'll go Greens for... Like tag call. We have a Poke Gear and a Caitlyn Cynthia. I really don't know what I'm gonna get here. I could go with the Stealthy Hood, or uh, we can go Vitality Ban and put the Vitality Ban on the Bird Trio, because then we one shot Zacian here. And I don't think that they're playing Air Balloon, right? So that's not terrible. We could also just get another Green. Um, and we only have one in the deck. Hmm. I might just take another green here and hope they don't Marnie me. I don't know if that would... I don't know, actually. Maybe I should just gone Welder. I don't know. Let's just get the birds. We're going to get both birds. We could have gone Guzmahala, too, maybe. So let's go Attach. Bench. Do I want to bench the other bird trio? We have a switch in our hand, so it's not like the biggest deal in the world if he tries to boss it up. I mean, I guess we'll bench it. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have. Maybe I should have. I don't really know. Again, I'm trying to learn how this deck plays. So, we'll see. We have Switch, though. Plus, I want to make sure another one's in play. I feel pretty safe, though, with a doll in play. This is kind of where I wish I had two, like, three more, two, four dolls, whatever. How many? We got, what, three in here? Two, two dolls. Oh, he does hit an energy swell. Okay, that was busted. I was hoping he wouldn't have it, but it looks like he just hit the E-switch. That's pretty bad. And he has a Switch. Okay, he had the perfect, perfect hand there off Intrepid Sword. Seeing Eldegoss and the big charm. All right. Vitality Band isn't as effective. If we had like a goon, we could like goon ping this and then knock it out with Sky Legend GX. I think we. I don't know actually if I should have gotten. Okay, Marnie, I was going to say. I actually don't know if I should have gotten the green. I was thinking back. Maybe Welder would have be better, but we don't have any fires in our hand. The swell is really messing me up. Yeah, we didn't get much. It's going to see an AC. Okay. So we do, we might need the powerful energy to knock this out. Or maybe not, because we're only at 232. We can only cap at 240. Hmm. That Marnie did give me a dead hand, which is not ideal. I think we just victory sign again. Well, obviously. Do we want to play the boss, though? Is it worth it to, like, maybe boss up the guru again and try to trap it? He is down two switch. Like, I don't hate that. My, my game plan might not have to just be, like, Sky Legend GX, knock this out. Like, I want to be able to hit this for, like, 130 and then finish off with Trinity Burn. We can we can knock out the Guru next turn if we want. Then we just got to go knock out Guru, knock out ADP, knock out Zacian. So that seems fine. Yeah, I think we're just going to go with the Victory Sign. I got to hope he doesn't boss up the other, the other bird here. That's something I'm worried about. Our hand is dead, which is not good. The only thing we have is boss, which is good. We can boss up. Again, we can knock out the Guru and do Sky Legend GX. Hit the Zacian, and the ADP, knock out the Guru. It's just... I wish our hand was a little bit better, though. Not gonna lie. The thing I'm scared of the most here is my opponent doing boss ultimate raid. Because then I have to do Sky Legend. It's better if I have to do Trinity Burn. So we'll see if he has a boss. He has a five-card hand, Guru. Yep, there's the boss. Yep, okay. So we have to do Sky Legend here. Okay. He does get to build up Zacian. I mean, if he has another boss, we could lose. This deck, I feel like, would fold the boss. Hopefully, we can get a good prize, though, too, here. That's also what I'm looking for. Do we want to knock out the Guru, or should we just, like... These draws, bro. Oh, my goodness. These draws are so bad. 
Um, do we just knock out the Guru with Sky Legend GX? Or do we just want to hit the active with Sky Legend? So we're going to go Sky Legend and Nadal. Hope he doesn't have another boss in his hand. He probably does. And our hand is so dead, we can't, like, we can't switch or heal. Like, this is just pretty bad. I guess, like, we have double stamp to work with. Knock out the Guru. He goes in with Zacian. I mean, he could we hit the active he'll hard retreat we can always boss it up for later but we we can get a green off the prizes i think bossing this up is actually the fair play i think yeah i think just bossing this up is still fine i mean a lot of this game will come down to whether my phone has a boss or not that's the other thing knocking this guru out might make it so they don't have a boss either to go through my doll all right that was a good prize that was a good prize well, I guess we'll lose both our stamps, which is actually really relevant. I don't know. Yeah, it's going to get another Dedene. Oh, he gets another ADP. So he's probably researching. No, he's going to Dede change. Never mind. I thought he was going to re- I was hoping he was researching so we didn't have to worry about another boss. But he's probably going to get a boss's order off this Dedene. He's going to bring in the bird trio. I don't know. I really don't want to lose my stamps, but it looks like we don't really have much of a choice. We'll see what happens. If we can get like one victory sign off in the trust of a welder on the Victini here. We can knock this out with Bird Trio. And then knock this out with Victini. Oh, yes, the boss, bro. The boss. ADP boss. Oh no. That's two boss down. Yeah. That's yeah, probably gonna be I can't really see how I'm gonna be able to recover from this. Taking all this damage. I don't know what to do. This is just not good. Let's see what we draw. Vitality band. We can still. Oh, we can't attack, can we? No. So we have to like pray. Ninety. One twenty. One fifty. One sixty. You'll have ten HP left even with the band on. Really wish we could not waste these two stamps, but we have to do research. We have to get a switch. Didn't get the switch. Hmm. I don't know. That's probably game over. That's yeah, it's definitely gonna be game over. We just can't we can't really recover from this. Like if we draw Fire Energy, we can boss knock out the Zacian next turn and then, like, pray he doesn't have, like, another boss on my other Victini. That's, like, my only option right now. Best case scenario, he goes in with Zacian and knocks me out. I don't think that's going to happen, though. Not much I can do. It's just having boss's order at the right moment is just too strong for this Bird Trio deck. Especially against ADP. Especially against ADP. So, if we can, yeah, if we can draw Fire Energy here, that'd be great. I think we have to just go Victini V. I don't really have a choice. I can't really afford to go normal Victini. Because we get... Well, I guess we could go in with a doll. I mean, his hand is huge. No stamp. There's no way. He definitely has, like, a boss in his hand. I think we'll still give him a doll, though. All right. Fire energy one time. No. Okay. Let's see what this gets us. We got greens. I can't think of anything green can get us, though. Like... We can go energy spinner. We just can't do enough damage to knock out the active. It's the only problem. We're gonna lose no matter what. I think we just... I think we gotta just take an L here, guy. I can't... I can't think of anything else I can do. There's literally nothing I can do to win this. I think this is just gonna be game over. Like, I just can't think of any, like... If this water energy with a fire energy, we could knock out the Zacian. And then we can go knock out ADP the following turn if he didn't have the boss, which he probably did. Like, if, if in a nutshell, if we had the stamp option here, we can go, like, stamp, knock out Zacian, but that can't happen. So I think we just got to take an L here. There's, like, literally nothing I can do. Um, there's nothing I can do. I guess we can, like, attach, research. I mean, he has a boss in his hand. There's no way. Like, 
There's li nothing I can do. We can pass and hope he doesn't have the thing and then hope to draw a fire energy here. And then I should have gotten the greens. Maybe that was the better play. Oh, this is, I, we lost. I, it's just, I don't, it doesn't matter. He definitely has bots in his hand. I don't even know why I'm really sorting this out of my head. Yeah, he's got a game. It's probably going to be the well played. Not much I can do. Unless he doesn't have boss, we can knock out ADP. Oh no, sorry, we, no, I don't know. We, we just can't win. I guess we should have gotten greens though off that Poke Gear because we had the option to get the boss. The Falling Turret knocked this out if we drew a Fire Energy because we couldn't get Energy Spinner. But I mean, like, what are the chances this guy doesn't have a boss? Like, that's so low, right? There's no way he doesn't have a boss in his hand. Like, all the possible outs I can think of, they just weren't going to work. Yeah, so I decided to lose those stamps. Stamp might have been my only comeback card. Quick ball. I mean, if he doesn't have the boss here, I don't know what to tell you. There's no... If he... Does he actually not have boss? Because I feel like he would have played it by now. If he doesn't have boss here, that's insane. We're not going to win, though. Victini can't survive a hit from Zacian, but still. Does he actually not have boss? There's no way. Does he... Bro, he doesn't have it? He's... There's no way. He might... I guess he's gonna knock him with Eldegoss. Hmm. Okay. We definitely should have held the hand then. We should have gotten greens. And he doesn't have boss. He doesn't have the boss. Oh, he had a great catcher. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we, we definitely should have... We could have... We should have kept that hand then. Bro, I did not expect him to... I just... His hand was so big. There was like... He had to... He... I just assumed he had boss. I might have... I don't think I threw, but I definitely think I put myself in this position where I would have had a, maybe a chance of winning. Wow. I might have... Because like, if I kept that hand and went greens off that pokey gear, I could have gotten energy spinner, put the energy on Victini, stayed in the active, and then we could have bossed up the uh, ADP, or we could knock out the Zacian, and maybe we would have won the game. But I feel like no matter what, he would have found boss anyways. You know what I mean? It's like, man. That's pretty. That's insane. Um, I don't think I can do anything here. Might as well bring in the doll again. I mean, he's he can get Eldegoss for boss. Again, There's I just it's like impossible to win. Let's just check our decks. Who would even, what do we even have to work with? We have no boss left. Yeah, that, was, that was kind of insane, not going to lie. We could just welder to the bird trio here. I mean, I guess. I probably should have kept the lightning energy. There's no other like weird play I can think of here. I think I just gotta let this doll... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I again, I don't think it's possible to win anymore. With two e-retrievals, we just can't find those. I mean, as long as Zacian can one-shot Victini, there's just nothing I can do. So if next turn, we can pull off a knock. If we can attack with... If he doesn't boss me somehow, maybe we can win with Maltra, Zapdos, Articuno, and just solo him. So we still have to knock out ADP and Zacian. We can still do that, but we don't have a boss. So I don't know. He probably has Eldegoss here. This is probably game. Yeah, there it is. I don't know, man. I just assumed he had it in that last hand. Dude, that last hand was so big, bro. There's like no way. All right. GG's. GG's. At least we've won one game so far. So... Do I want to play this bird show deck again, or do I want to swap over to Mad Party? I don't know. I think he still has Center Scorch and Eternatus to play. So it's either between the Bird Trio or the Mad Party deck. What deck do I want to play? I kind of low-key want to go Bird Trio again, but I feel like I play... I don't know if it can beat Eternatus VMAX. It's the only problem. I think I'm just going to go Mad Party. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go Mad Party. Okay, I got to report... I'll go. He's playing Eternatus, and uh, I don't want to go second. I'm saying I want to go second, but I don't know if I actually want to go second. But um, my the two other decks I have left to play don't like going first. Shoot. I got. I mean, I have to go second and hope for the best, I guess. Okay. I'll go second. I mean. I can't go first with Bird Trio, and I can't go first with Mad Party. It just doesn't really work that way. I don't know. I turn to Scorch. 
Should I just go Mad Park? Should we go Bertrio again? I kind of want to play this deck again, but at the same time, I don't know if I can... I don't know if we can... We can definitely beat Senescorch with this, but I don't know if we can beat Eternatus with this deck. I just don't feel confident in that Eternatus matchup. Mad Party, I have confidence in that it can beat Eternatus. Hmm. I don't know. Do you want to just go Bird Trio again? Just see how it does? Yeah, let's just go Bird Trio. Screw it. Whatever. Sorry, Mad Party. But what's he playing? Can't tell. <laughs> so. What's this got? I, I just can't do anything. with. I don't know. Alright, so I said I was going to go first. Wait. Let me see this. I'll go second. All right, we're gonna play Bertrio. We're gonna try to win with Bertrio. I don't know. I'm not really feeling the Mad Party matchup against Eternatus, but if it's Senna Scorch, I might regret it. Just a little bit. I don't know. I, if the deck can play better, I think we can win a game with it. That's the other thing. If this deck can actually play better than it did before, I think we can win a game with it. We'll see. We'll see. We put up a good fight that ADP match. I if I held the if I held the boss in that hand, I might have maybe been able to make somewhat of a comeback. I don't know if I would have been able to win, but I, I definitely should have just done greens there. But I I don't know. It, I just man, it, the chance of they end that boss, man. I just didn't accumulate those. Like oh, there's no way they don't have a boss. Ooh, they got a Marnie. That's good. This is why I didn't really want to go second though, because this. I you know what? Next time, next tournament, next match, next week, whatever you want to call it, I'm gonna build. I'm gonna bring a deck that wants to go first because. All three of my decks want to go second, and that's kind of a good thing for these for the turn matchups. matchup. So I think we have to choose a deck that wants to go second. Or goes first. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll play an Eternatus deck for one week. I haven't done a video on Eternatus on my main channel. So if you guys want to see me bring Eternatus, uh, like a unique build of Eternatus to uh, the week, let me know and I'll uh, do one for next week or something. Because I want to. I need to play a deck that wants to go first next. I can't stop. I got to stop choosing decks I want to go second. Um, this is starting to mess me up. So it's greens. I might take like giant hearth and welder. We could get Marnied here. I'll put the hearth in play though. I don't think he plays a counter stadium. Or we can welder actually. We can build this thing up in one turn. What am I saying? Yeah, we just do that instead. I'm dumb. Okay, now I'm glad I went second. We can't play support. Wait. We already played greens. Oh my god, why'd I do that? Oh my god, I'm misplaying. Oh no. I forgot I played greens. Oh my god. If we get Marnied here, I'm... Oh my gosh. I didn't mean... To... Well, I guess at the same time, it's fine. We could still... As long as the heart sticks, maybe this is fine because it thins two cards from getting a Welder off of Marnie. I just... My brain fizzled out. I was just so concentrated on this. I completely forgot we already played Sporter for the turn. I don't think it matters too much, though. It might help us, right? It might help us find the Welder off of a Marnie anyways. It might not be that big of a deal. As long as the heart stays in play, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. I'm a dummy, though. Why did I think that? <laughs> Just so silly of me. Uh, the thing I'm scared of the most is a boss for my opponent. This is the only problem this Bird Show deck is bosses orders. I mean, if he bosses me, we have to go Sky Legend again. We can hit the two Eternatus, and we can also maybe just hit the Crobat. We can hit this, maybe? I don't know. We just probably just want to go through two Eternatus VMAX. We just got to pray it doesn't boss me here. That's what I'm scared of. Boss or Marnie. Both are pretty scary. And there's the VMAX. Does he have a boss in hand? Mmm, Ping. He might be able to... If he knocks out my Bertrio, I think we... Well, we have Stamp, but we have a Welder. Okay, yeah. Crobat. Ugh, if he gets a boss and a net, we... Our Bertrio goes down. Maybe we should have just taken Big Charm, but I needed a supporter to follow up with. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see what he does. Quick Ball. Okay, that's not a boss. Oh, he had the Marnie in hand. Oh, uh, he has the boss in hand. No! The boss's orders! Well, he has to fill his bench up, too. Don't forget. He can't... Okay, yes, yes, fill his bench up. Maybe we're okay. Unless, he, unless his hand is, like, boss and another Pokemon. Okay, yeah, it looks like... He, okay, I don't think he's gonna boss me here. We probably want to get a big charm. Oh, he's gonna Marnie me? Okay, well, let's see if this play gets punished. And let's see if he gets a counter stadium, too. Curious to see if he counter stadiums me, too. No, okay. We didn't get the welder though. 
Ugh, that's pretty feels bad, man. He definitely has boss in hand too, which is pretty scary. I think we just stamp and research. I mean, we can also do victory sign, which I guess we'll do too. I don't really think I need this Victini. Let's take one energy. We can take two. Because we have energy retrieval. No, I'm only going to take one. I don't... We want to put big charm on this if we can. Let's just research. If we had Stealthy Hood on the Bird Show too, it would be good. We didn't get the big charm. Rip. Get rid of this, I guess. Do we have the big charm even in the deck? It might not even be in the deck. It is in the deck. Okay, we just didn't find it. We have greens next turn to find it, though. Okay. Let's just put the energy on this and see where this takes us. I'm scared, not gonna lie. I mean, I stamp him to five. What are the chances he has a boss, right? If he didn't have boss off those couple Marnies, he might have gone it off his Marnie. So stamping, shuffling his deck might have helped out a little bit putting the cards he put at the bottom of the deck back into the top so maybe he drew the cards that he already marnied so he doesn't have the boss that's what i'm pretty much praying for here is he doesn't have boss's order this comes down to whether or not he has boss or not now i wish i played mad party now i wish i played mad party but uh it is what it is again I, we'll take an l some weeks as long yeah there's the boss okay oh he actually brings another bird tree which is smart because this one's already got 30 damage on it i don't think he has a knockout though does he do we want to do Sky Legend here? I feel like we do, right? We just go Sky Legend, hit this, hit this, knock out a goon maybe? Okay. Yeah, this seems fine. We'll go with the Sky Legend GX. Uh, let's see, we draw. Perfect. Can we get Doll? Ooh, we didn't get all blah, 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 blah. I might get rid of the Caitlyn Cynthia here with Viridian to thin out a card. I'm gonna do that. I wanna thin out my deck a little bit. It's our last fire energy. We still have an energy spinner and energy, energy retrieval though. We just don't have a doll, that's the only problem. We have to give up Victini, but this guy's already powered up, so it's actually not too bad. This is interesting, folks. It's going to be an interesting game, to say the least. He has a two-card hand. What are the chances he has another boss? He might have a Crobat. That's the only problem. Tag call? I mean, if he knocks this out, at least we can tag call. He has to do 270 damage, though. So he might not get there. <laughs> How do people just have boss magically in their hand? I don't understand. He doesn't knock me out, though, which is good. And we get to knock him out here if we can get powerful energy. If we don't have... Maybe we should have put the Vitality Band on to do Sky Legends. I didn't really consider that math. Okay, here's what we'll do. We'll tag call. Oh my goodness, the powerful energy's prized. Okay, well, this thing's not getting knocked out, and that sucks. My boss a crowbat. I think bossing crowbat might seem fine. Knock out a crowbat here. I mean, we can also finish him off Victini, which is kind of hilarious. We could we could just like welder and then knock him out with Victini the following turn. He's probably just gonna retreat into this Eternatus though. I think if we just knock this out, all we have to do is knock out one turn just to win the game. If we knock this out. We also could see our. Um, we could see We could see the power plunge at the prizes I definitely should have played smarter with the, 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 with the vitality man But I wanted to put the big charm on just in case I definitely think the vitality man was the way to go So Yeah I don't think I have any energy left in the deck Do I want to play the goose mahalo Or get rid of the goose mahalo I don't there's no energy left in the deck right Yeah okay Let's see what we get. That's decent. 
Oh, we didn't get the powerful energy though. Shoot. I don't know if we're gonna win this, guys. I don't know. We have 90 HP. He's still knocking me out. Honestly, if I was smarter with my math, I think I would have been able to win this, but again, I wanted the big charm on. I didn't care for the Vitality Band. I didn't really consider the Vitality Band's relevance, and I definitely should have. That was a misplay on my end. It's a learning experience with this Bird Show deck, though. I know it's a big brain deck, but it is a learning experience. I don't know. This is not good. Okay, we definitely just want to build this up, I think. How many bots are left? One. Okay. So, I mean, we just need to knock out the Eternatus to win the game, which is still possible. So, if we, like... I mean... If he doesn't have his own boss's orders, what we can do... Is we can hit him for 20... And we'll do this. We'll quick ball. We have our, we have one stamp. I'm hoping we can find stamp here. I'm gonna welder to the Articuno Multra Zapdos. Or do I wanna just greens? We can We're definitely gonna attach here for sure. So we attach. We can welder next turn and build him up, and then we can do greens exploration here. We can get reset stamp. Yeah, this actually seems fine. Let's go greens and then we'll hope we'll hope he doesn't hit me with we'll get Dolan stamp, I think. We don't have a boss in the deck. Maybe we get Big Charm and Stamp then. Yeah, I think we just want to stamp him here. Not gonna bench the Victini because then he's not, he's seen, he needs to just boss up the other Victini. I'll actually get rid of it too thin on the deck in case he has his own stamp. I'm actually not gonna get anything here in case of a of a of a Marnie. Uh, if only we had a boss in the deck. Boss and Power Punch being Prize is literally awful for us right now. We just gotta hope our stamp didn't give him a boss. <laughs> I mean, that's just the story of PC Joe. But yeah, we just gotta hope we didn't get a boss here off the stamp. He's played two. He's played three. No, two Crobats. I thought that Sableye was a bad. It is not. It's a Sableye. Oh, this is so bad though, guys. I don't know, man. If we're winning this. Eternatus comes down. Oh, hits the Marnie. There goes our Welder. That's not good. We still have two welders. It's not that bad. We have Pokey here. We should. We can probably find a get a, find a welder here. We might have. Get another net. This is stressful. <laughs> this is stressful. Okay, this is what it comes down to. We can win here if we can knock him out. We have to take fire energy for Welder. Oh, we don't have enough energy. Oh, that Marnie. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I don't have enough energy then. Right? We go Welder. But we have no way to... We can't attack. Yeah, we can't attack. Dang it. We're one. If he didn't Marnie me, we would have won the game because he didn't move this. See what he does. I wish we had. If we had powerful energy, I think we'd be able to win this. Literally, this thing can get knocked out by powerful energy. Having that prize is really bad. If he stays in the active, though, we win the game. He's probably not going to. He probably sees how this works, right? I gotta assume he sees how this works. Unless he like thinks I don't have energy left, which is not happening. Whew, stressful game. But I am learning about this bird show deck, which is good. So maybe I'll play it again in another week because this is a good deck. Um, I just need to play better, I guess. I don't know. I'm trying to play my best I can right now. Just don't worry, guys. Don't, don't you worry. Let's see, quick ball gets rid of Sableye. He is out of Marnie, which is good. If only we had a boss and a power energy. Those are literally the two worst prizes right now. Because we need the boss to boss up this Eternatus, or we need the powerful energy to knock out an Eternatus. 
really unfortunate we prized both the boss and the power of energy that is just so bad not gonna lie we also needed that reset stamp to not give him the gas either right the stamp into marnie really sucks it better it's better than stamp into boss but it's like that stamp was still really bad like the, we needed that stamp to stick so the fact that stamp and we are out of stamps too right yeah we're out of reset stamp if only that stamp didn't give him the marnie I think we would have won this because we needed to keep the welder there and that that reset stamp gave us the bad hand i don't know where my energy if we had like energy retrieval or something to work with here too to get back our energy and we were able to welder to this we would have been really good he attaches here oh n does he not see the play if he just i mean he could knock me out we have 310 hp though like i don't see there's no way he doesn't see the play okay i was gonna say Unfortunately, we have no way to gust the turn just back up. So that will be game. Well, we'll go down to 280 HP, actually. So he needs a net and a Pokemon. Ah, uh, yes, we're not having boss really sucks. Nothing looked to really get with greens. I think we just research. Let's just check our deck real quick. Two dolls, tool scrapper, stealthy hood. Yeah, not much I can do. He probably just has his last scoop up net. He's only played two, so. This is probably game. If we had another reset stamp, maybe we would have, we would have won the game. Maybe if we had another stamp here, I guess, but yeah, this is not much I can do. Yeah, just, the boss and power for energy being prized are just so bad right now. Yeah, it's just it's not giving us a way to win this. We can knock him out, and if we survive the turn, he needs I guess he needs another basic. He needs another basic and a scoop up net knock me out. There's a very high chance he has it. If we had another stamp, we could have probably just won the game by stamp. 10 damage short anyways. Never mind, I am done. This thing is 10 HP. Well, again, he needs a stamp. He needs duck, I don't know. He needs scoop up net. For some reason, I thought we were doing 220. Turn his V having 220 HP is OP. Let's see if he has a scoop up net. He hasn't played. He hasn't played a research yet, which is kind of scary. He does get another turn. His nope. There's the net. All right. Does he have an energy to retreat? Yeah. Never mind. Rip, bro. Rip. No. So close. All right. Well, GG's to plus power good games this last game was pretty dang intense not gonna lie this was a very intense match yeah let's let's see it let's see the prizes oh never mind i, I forgot doesn't all right well yeah ggs to plus power and yeah that'll be that power for energy man we needed you now i want to put two of these in this deck because bro this thing literally being prized like cost us the game almost but yeah anyways yeah ggs to plus power good game uh as always guys make sure you check out his channel uh, down below and I'll see you guys on another week of the OPOP -OP League, week number four. We'll see who I'm play paired up against next and what deck I bring. But yeah, GG's. And I'm glad we got a bit of a learning experience too with the Bird Show deck, right? I'm glad we kind of got to learn how to play the deck a bit more. Could I have played better in this in in these two games? 100% definitely could have played better. But I think just a lot of it came down to luck and stuff like that. You know, the stamp into the Marnie. You know, him not having the boss in the game to win the game against AD. It's just, things definitely just weren't set in motion. But I should have played out all my outs. I think that was my big misplay. But I'm learning, man. It is what it is. Hopefully, none of you guys go in the comments and start hating on me for making any misplays. I might have been made this video. Just saying. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll catch you guys on another PDCGO video tomorrow and next week's OPOP match.